Hello and welcome to Bexio. In this video, I would like to show you some functions to get you started with our software. Let's go. But first, who is Bexio? With more than 50,000 customers, Bexio is the leading SME software company in Switzerland. More than 120 employees work with us to support you in your daily work and further develop the software so that you save time in the office. As a Swiss company, we develop the software and store all the data in Switzerland. What I would like to show you in this video are four functions in Bexio. The Bexio dashboard. Second, we go through a sales process from the offer to an invoice. Third point, the document templates, where you can upload your logo. And the fourth point, how to invite your accountant to Bexio. Let's start in my Bexio trial account. The first page you see when you log in to your Bexio account is the Bexio dashboard. This is a super overview of all your relevant K figures directly when you log in. You also can edit this dashboard. On the top right, you have the button edit dashboard. If you click on it, you're able to activate or deactivate the boxes or you're also able to move the boxes from the left to the right, up and down, and so on. So at the end, you will have the most important part on top, the other part below, and the other part deactivated. We have here boxes about received and withdrawals of cash and cash equivalents, pending bills, pending invoices, and a lot more. So scroll down and edit the dashboard. I will come back later to the dashboard to show you when the amount will be changed on this dashboard. When we create an invoice in the backend, what will be happening in the dashboard or also in the accounting part of Bexio. But first, before we start with the invoice, quotes, orders, offers, I would like to show you where you can edit your document templates. You can upload your logo, you can uh, change your letterhead if necessary, the addresses from the left to the right, and so on. We find these settings on top, on the right, in settings, document templates. There you will find a default template. And in this default template, you already see in my example, you can upload your logo on the top left, you can change the colors and you see directly what's happened on the right preview if you do some changes on the left. If we scroll down, we can also upload a PDF as a letterhead. We can change the font, font size, font type. We can also upload our own font files and so on. Or below, we can do some changes for the receipt address from the left to the right, if you work with envelopes with a window, depending on which side the window is, you can change it with one click. And we have some special document settings here below in the gray box, header options, column options, footer options, here we are able to activate or deactivate the check with these checkboxes what should be visible in the footer, in the header options, column options, and so on. So you have a lot of settings here. Please go there and I'm sure you will find a solution which fits for you. Test it, upload your logo, change the fonts address from the left to the right, play with the colors, however you like it. There is no right or wrong way, it's really up to you how you like it. Save it and then you can create an invoice, print it out and have a look on it, for example. It's also possible to create multiple templates. So if we go one step back in the breadcrumbs here on top, we see with the, gray, with the green button on the right, we are able to create different templates if you need. One is a default template. I will 
recommend to work on this if more or less all quotes and invoices should have the same logo, the same font types, the address on the same side and so on. But if you maybe uh, use different logos for different invoices, whatever, you can also create another template and upload another logo in this template, for example. That's it for the document templates. When we finish that, now I would like to show you in the sales part how to create an offer, order, delivery note and an invoice. So if we go here to the sales part, first we start with the quotes, create a new quote, choose the customer, my example I will choose Bexio, click on next. And now I will see here Bexio created a new quote with the number 597 and in the quote I'm now able to add the positions. For that I have two options. Option one, I can add a standard position. Standard position means we have to fill in all informations manually. So on the left, the text, for example, we offer some apples. How many? price, the units, discount, and also important for the accounting, the account number and the tax rate. If you're not sure which account number, which tax rate you have to choose, in which case, please ask your accountant. They can help you with these questions. Click on save. And now I see I have added my first position. Maybe I want to add a second one. So I click again on the add standard position. Fill in the text, quantity, price, and so on. That's the way if you want or if you have to create the positions manually. What I recommend or what we from Bexio recommend for all positions, doesn't matter if it's a service or also for goods. If you need them more than once, we recommend to save them on top in the part products as a product with the text, with the price, with the right account number and all the information you need. And then you can import them directly here with the second button add product. You can import them with a few clicks directly on the invoice. So if you have that in your case, check it out, create your products and then you will save time in the future. So we have here a quick and easy creation of these documents with these uh, standard positions and also with the help of the products. And when I'm finished, I can send the quote directly from Bexio via email or I can download it as a PDF, print it out, send it by post or with my own email. That's up to you. Also important here in the quote, we see on the top right, the status at the moment is draft. Draft means we are still working on this quote. And as soon as we send it by email, status will automatically change from draft to pending. If we send it by post or we download it as a PDF and send it manually by email, we have to mark this quote as pending. So we see now the status has changed to pending. That means we sent it and we are waiting now for a reply. And I recommend to really use the status because the status gives you in the overview um, a good overview, yes, of, of all pending quotes, of all accepted, rejected quotes and many more. And now I can tell the system on the right if the order quote has been accepted or rejected manually or also if you send it via email the customer is able to do it by themselves online in the network overview and then you will receive uh, an email notification and the status will be changed automatically to accept it. In our case today we will do it manually so if the customer contacts you and tells you it's okay you can open the invoice uh, the quote sorry and mark it as accepted that means status now will be changed from pending to accepted. If we go back 
we see now on top the quote 597 is now in the status accepted. And as soon as we have an accepted quote, we are now able on the right to create the order or also direct an invoice from this quote, depending what you need. In our case, first we create the order because we want to send the order confirmation and the delivery note. Click on save. And now Bexio created a new order and I can see the products are directly on the order. I'm also able to edit this order to add more positions on this order. Doesn't matter what happened on the quote. And what you see also is on the order, especially in red letters on the left and on the right for every position, how many are delivered and what is already invoiced. At the moment, both of them are red because we have no delivery note and no, no invoice created for the moment. So let's start with it. On the right, we create a delivery note. We create, we create this delivery and we deliver all items at the same time. So we click on save. We are now in the delivery. And we are also able to download this delivery note if you want to. And we mark this delivery as done. So that means the status of the delivery will be changed from draft to done. Like that. And now if we go back to the order, we see now in green letters, both positions has been delivered. So what I have to do now is the invoice. Create the invoice on the right save and now the order is in the status done because we have all positions delivered and invoiced and the invoice is in the status draft the beginning so that means we can also edit this invoice we can add position maybe you want to add a discount later we can also delete positions that's up to you and as soon when you're finished you can also here send the invoice by email, download it as a PDF, send it by post, however. And also when you're finished, we can mark this invoice as issued. And as soon as you click on mark invoice as issued, the status will be changed from draft to pending. And that's the first time this invoice will be visible on the dashboard in the open pending invoices and also in the accounting part will be the first entry for this invoice. As long as the invoice is in the status draft, the invoice won't be visible in the accounting or on the dashboard. So we mark it as issued. Now the invoice is pending and we see it in the accounting part. If we go here to the accounting reports, for example, we can search for the invoice 669 in the journal. 669. We see there are already some entries. Two entries of 2022. So that's what happened automatically. And because of that, it's important that you need to know which account number, which VA2 code you have to use in which case. Because at the end, when you create an invoice and send this invoice, this information will be visible in the accounting part. It also, if you want to, create automatic in payment slip with the QR code for every invoice, that's also possible. So a quick summary, you can really easy create these documents with these positions, products, standard positions. You can send it via email. Then you have this network link where you can open it online and can also receive automated uh, customer feedback on every document. And really important, the clear status of all documents, draft, pending, paid, accepted, whatever, for a good overview. And because of this process, you can save up to three hours of office work 
and you will get uh, up to 25% faster paid with your online invoices. So that's the process from a quote to an invoice. And if you need help in the accounting part, if you're not sure with these account numbers, with these VAT codes, you're able to invite your accountant for free in your Bexio account. And for that settings, we go on top right on the settings, plans, apps and users. And in this part, we have a special function. If you scroll down, invite and manage accountants. And here you can click on the green button, invite accountant. The only thing you need to know is the email address of your accountant. And then you can send this invitation. You're also able to delete this person out of your Bexio account anytime. Or you can also change the user permissions. So you can decide what, what this person also, uh, also can see in your Bexio account. Only the accounting or also the contacts, whatever. You can change this user permissions. So you have a free access of them. And nevertheless, always the overview of the K figures in the accounting part. And with this connection and this optimization for accountants, for the automated bookings of the invoices in sales and purchase, you can save up to 29% of your fiduciary costs. And that's it. That's what I want to show you in this video, the dashboard, the process from the quote to the invoice, the document templates and how to invite an accountant. So we have reached the end of the video. I would like to thank everybody for your attention and hope that you were able to take something out of this video. Have a great day and we see us in the next video. Thank you and goodbye. Thank you.